Here we go again. Welcome to week four of the Ultimate Fighter, Anthony Shark Bay Gutierrez vlogs. I appreciate you guys watching. You're going to hear about the last episode between Roxanne and Modafferi and Jessica Ricosi. It was a battle of the striker versus grappler. It was a good one. Emotional. Thanks. So let's get to it. Uh, the fight with Roxanne and Jessica, I remember at the time I thought it could go either way because I definitely knew that Jessica could win on the feet, but I also knew that Roxy could win on the ground. So I pretty much, I thought Jessica was going to lose because her shoulder was hurt really bad because I was training with her. She did a good job of hiding it, unlike how Chris Beal like, made it public knowledge. Jessica did, did a good job of hiding it, and I thought that that was going to affect her in the fight, but I think um, Jessica was just a better athlete. Um, even when they were grappling, I think Jessica was way outmatched on the ground, but was still able to compete because of her athleticism. I think Roxy lacks a little bit of athleticism. Yeah, she seemed very gassed. Mm -hmm. That's what's so inconsistent. Uh, sometimes they'll, stop, they'll start you. Like, for example, let's say you're grabbing the fence and I'm trying to take you down and right. you're grabbing it, but then I finish the takedown, but the ref stops it because you're grabbing the fence. Sometimes they'll start him on the ground. See, sometimes that's strange. Start, yeah, it's weird. It's really inconsistent. So but, it's just due to the ref? Mm -hmm. What was actually weird about that was Roxy had a deep single leg um, when Jessica was grabbing the fence and then when Mark Goddard separated him and warned him and then put him back, Roxy started with like a, a double that, that didn't have her hands clasped and so I thought she, that was Roxy's fault because I went back to my deep single, but um, I think it was a good opportunity for Misha to throw back the, she was smiling at my girl's pain. But um, she didn't. Yeah, uh, but Misha, did you, Misha tweeted last night saying, uh, hey Rhonda, uh, sorry, or, uh, you shouldn't have smiled at my girl's pain, it was pretty funny. But, no, I mean, I forgot your question, but I thought everyone handled it fine and professional. Both athletes were respectful. The thing that a lot of people, like, don't really realize is they'll ask you, whose team would you rather be on? Like, for my example, Rhonda or Misha? Well, I'd rather train with Rhonda because Rhonda's a better fighter, but really you have to, um, look at, like, the coaching staffs and how the other team's coach, or your coaching staff really runs practice, and Rhonda was pretty much just, like, another fighter. She wasn't even really a coach. She did, like, help us out on certain things, but she was pretty much just in line with us as her staff ran the practices, and so she was, she was the most intense one on the mat, and that makes, you never want to have someone else, you know, working harder than you, so it brings everyone up a level, so yeah, she's intense. It makes you want to train. Training for a fight, then, like, certain sparring will be scheduled like with what we're doing but if we're just at a normal practice and we're just sparring I'll usually just kind of go however hard the person is going you know so if I feel a girl trying to take my head off then I'll do the same thing to her but because I'm not gonna let a girl beat me you know what I mean but right. at the same time I'm not gonna like be a douche yeah. hashtag <laughs> yummy <laughs> um, I witnessed when they were outside in the parking lot and Dana was like I'm not leaving until you guys leave I witnessed that I didn't see the initial part and once again, when I see that going down, I was just begging for a street fight to happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to go back to the house and just stare. Mm -hmm. You know, so I might as well you know, have some excitement. Do you think if Dana would have left, something would have happened? Mm, if the TVs possible. weren't there? Very Oh, the cameras? if the cameras weren't there, I think at 100%. Easily. The coaches, at this point in the show, our coaches stopped telling us who was going to be next if we won, which I was just so frustrated with. Because then it's like, okay, who cares if we win or lose? We don't know when we're fighting, so it doesn't matter to me. So at this point, I was like, cool, we won. Um, doesn't really make a difference to me. I didn't know if I was going to get picked or not. But um, What was their tactic behind that? Just so that you're always prepared? Everyone, yeah, and I, you're going to be always prepared anyway because you know the possibility. But also it would be nice to, you know. Know the advantage. Mm-hmm. So did you ever explain to Roxy what you were trying to get a handful of? Uh, no. <laughs> I wasn't literally trying to get a handful of anything from Roxy. If you know me, I'm kind of obnoxious. So like, for example, um, you know, T-Mac, he's my roommate. You know, he'll walk out and I'll be leaving, T-Mac, let me get a handful! You know, it's just, you know, let me grab your ass. But I don't really want to grab your ass, T-Mac. You know, mm -hmm. I just, you know, just let me get a handful. Right. Oh, at least three times a day I'd be like, Roxy, baby! And then she, without missing the beat, don't call me baby. And then I'd go, okay, baby. And then... Oh, and then, no. Yeah. yeah, she's so sweet. How did she handle the loss? It was pretty emotional. Yeah, I mean, actually, I didn't... I mean, she definitely was, you know, upset about it, but it didn't seem like that big of a deal to her in the house because I think she got it all out of her system when we were when I wasn't around, at least. So... Uh, Louie and David Grant. In my opinion, Davey could easily be the, one of the best guys in the house, and Louie is probably the worst guy in the house. Um, that was my opinion going into the fight, you know, after training with the guys and seeing them. Um, but I had thought for sure Davey was going to run through this. Um, who knows what happens? You'll have to tune in. But I was thinking for sure that he was going to run through him, and he might do it. I don't know. But. 
As of where we're at in the show right now, the dirtiest thing that went on was when Juliana um, gave Holdsworth some of her enchilada. Hmm. And uh, he said that was really good. And it, uh, it looked good. That's about it? Mm hmm That's not very exciting. Does it get crazier? Oh, yeah. Does it involve you? Mm hmm Handful. Booty. Sexy. Punch. Me. Parp. Tape. Selfie. Instagram. Roxy. Foxy. Lazy. The Savage. Annoying. Me. Miley. Twerk it. Turner. Amazing. Okay. Girlfriend. Uh.